What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. It's your boy Ango and today I'm bringing you guys some early WWE 2K18 content. That's right. I said early WWE 2K18 content and I got to give a huge shout out to WWE games because without them I would not have an early copy. They hooked it up early this year and guys let me tell you from the time that I played in New York at the red carpet event for SummerSlam versus the final build. Um, I'm actually really impressed with the game. So uh, I want to save everybody a little bit of time and uh, I wanted to get straight into it. I had to dive into it and I kind of just wanted to talk with you guys about my experience using the community creations slash creation suite um, because so far it's been really awesome and I'm not usually the type of guy to get into that right away. I like to just play matches and stuff. So um, for those who don't know, Colonel Sanders was created uh, as a template in the game. Uh, he's not taking up a roster spot, which is awesome. But they just announced at Hell in a Cell this past weekend that Colonel Sanders would, in fact, be in the game. He's playable. All you got to do is go to the custom templates and pick him out and do a whole bunch of stuff, change his attributes. Now, for those who don't want to spend the 5 to 15 minutes doing that, I actually created the template and I filled it out with all the information. HBKFC, guys, that's right. Uh, Shawn Michaels moveset, Shawn Michaels entrance. All you guys got to do is go into the community creations. Right now, this is PS4 only. But if you just search for Ango YT or if you search for HBKFC or Kentucky Fried Shawn Michaels, uh, whatever the case may be, I'm sure you guys will find it. Go ahead and download it. Use it. Uh, it's a really, really fun gameplay, guys. I really enjoyed it. And I just kind of want to talk to you guys about it because uh, this gameplay specifically is Falls Count Anywhere between Kurt Hawkins, uh, the guy who, uh, well, according to the facts, guys, he has lost a really huge chunk of matches. And his losing streak is like longer than Asuka's maybe. I don't know. Um, or Asuka's winning streak. But either way, uh, yeah, this is a really, really fun gameplay. Um, I have Kurt Hawkins versus Colonel Sanders. Like I said, Colonel Sanders has the Shawn Michaels moveset and the entrance, the taunts, the whole 10 yards. Guys, I enjoy it. Um, basically, when it comes down to this specific gameplay, I try to use a little bit of the environment, go into the crowd. That's why I specifically did Falls Count Anywhere. And one of the things that I really, really liked about this gameplay in specific, um, AI has improved tremendously um, since last year. So... I just kind of want to dive into that really quick. Um, when it comes to playing a computer, right, when you're not versing another human, sometimes I find it to be kind of awkward when you play a WWE video game. And you guys will see I'll have a in-depth video uh, for like a full review on the channel. But I just want to dive into this little part right here. Um, with that being said, AI is incredibly smarter this year than it was last year. Um, I don't know what it is. There's certain things, um, obviously, when you're using the targeting system. So, for instance, you guys will see I use a steel chair against the ref. I use it against Kurt Hawkins. I'm able to go back and forth. Now, the nice thing about it is the ref actually stays down. He sells the injury. He sells the chair shot. And when you look at Kurt Hawkins, eventually he'll get back up. And throughout this gameplay, you'll see that his movements and, you know, his awareness throughout the match is a lot better and the reason why that's so important guys is because WWE 2k 18 is a really good simulation game if you're looking for an arcadic game it may be a different opinion but if you're looking at something that has a realistic simulation approach um, that's exactly what WWE 2k 18 is delivering here so obviously Colonel Sanders is using a move set and taunt system and everything like that uh, that is from a template or from another superstar uh, Kurt Hawkins is the actual superstar in the game and you can see just throughout the gameplay here There's just so much that he does and I think that's just that's just a really awesome thing to mention um, You know typically what happens you can play AI and there's just certain situations where they don't pin after a finisher or You know they hit a signature move and and just there's like weird things happening and I don't get that vibe one bit um, things like using weapons uh, steel chairs, uh, using the steps, um, just overall very, very fluid. And that's what it comes down to, guys, is having a fluid game to work with. And obviously, I'm going to have a lot more content on the game. So uh, if you guys aren't ready for that, get ready. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
I want to know what you guys think. This is uh, this is 2K18. By the way, um, the breakout system, I honestly couldn't remember from the time of this year versus last year. So, you know, I don't want to be misquoted, but um, the breakout system is awesome. I, I Maybe I just forgot how great it was, but uh, I use it towards the end of this match. So, um, you know, overall, the game looks really good, guys, and, and Colonel Sanders is in the game. I, I really want you guys to see some of the highlights from this, and... Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys have any questions, um, you know, just let us know. Um, obviously, bringing more content and stuff like that is a huge priority here. So you guys could expect more WWE 2K18 early content. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Follow me on Twitter at Tango with Tango. As always, click like, subscribe. Later. just be out guys i agree he hasn't moved one bit one of the most effective stretches you'll ever see this one is over